Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love. So in today's video we're going to be checking out and unboxing the new Huawei P40 Pro. I say new, it's new to me. Obviously it's 2020 model, I think there is another version out which is the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. I'm not too sure what the specif extra specifications, I think it's just an extra lens on the camera and a few little quality improvements overall. Chipsets and everything else remains the same, uh, I think there's 500 gig instead of 256 gig uh, internally, maybe, don't hold me to it. But as you know I've tested many budget phones up to medium range phones, gaming phones, and obviously I've progressed and now we're entering into the high range, top end gaming slash phones. So this is a premium Huawei phone. I think it's, um, as I say, bar the Huawei P40 Pro Plus, uh, this is the flagship phone. I just done a video on the Huawei M6, which is a tablet, gaming tablet, it's quite old now, but if you pick one up cheap, it is fantastic. I can't recommend it enough, which has inside the Kirin 980. So this is actually rocking the brand new Huawei Kirin chip, the 990. So the performance was really good on the 980, so I'm expecting even more with this. So yeah, let's get straight into it let's rip it open see what we're going to get with the powers of youtube i'll install everything on there get everything all ready to rock and roll and do some light testing and then you guys can let me know in the comments what else you want to see testing on the huawei p40 pro i've also got the huawei i think it's the matebook x 2020 version which is obviously the flagship high-end laptop so i'll also be testing emulation like arcade punk i'll be testing switch games i'll be testing wii u games you know i'll be testing a lot of high-end stuff on there so yeah let's get into it so as you can see package is nice you've got your usual how are new world of apps and services so it doesn't come with google play but i can get around that with a little bit of a tweak here and a little bit of a tweak there, not a problem. Also, if you know, you can sideload stuff, so that is not a problem. It doesn't restrict you in any way, shape or form. Let's get the old katana on this. Nice, I bloody love this knife. Oh, with the knife channel that I have, guys, uh, obviously it's not been the best. I still love my collection of knives and thank you very much for you guys that have subscribed already. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to turn that channel into long play gaming videos of, yeah, just of emulation. Because a lot of people have been saying that um, certain games that they play, like they play fine for the first couple of levels, but they reach certain levels and then it becomes unplayable. And then you don't really want to progress with the game because that level... You just can't play it. So I'm going to do long play. So let me know in the comments, guys, games that you play really, really like, but then you run into problems down the line where it was just unplayable or that you just stopped playing because it just started to turn out to be ugly emulation. Let me know in the comments because I'll do some testing with those games long play, which is pretty cool, I think. Great idea. Save that channel because it's dying on its arse. The sound of a new box opening all right okay so in the box we have the phone so i believe this is like not truly bezel-less but it's bezel-less if that makes any sense so yeah, it looks quite nice i went with the silver model this looks quite nice let's open it up love new phones, I love gadgets, I love getting anything new. I hate bloody stickers though, no need for these things. Like yeah, let's make a phone and then let's pull out the stickers on that nobody actually wants. <laughs> I've just turned it on, if you haven't guessed. Yeah, baby. Okay, cool, so as you can see, looks quite nice. It's got the Lacia 
I think it's like a 50 megapixel camera. I don't know the specs. I'll look them up and tell them in another video. It's got a really nice premium silver feel right the way through. Um, it's not a finger magnet. That's good. Oh, yeah. That looks quite nice. We do have the punch hole, and it's a pretty big punch hole. I think it cuts off on the top, so you don't really lose out that much. It's quite a big phone. So we've got the volume rocker, we've got the turn, power on and off, speaker phones. I think it is the Huawei Mini 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 SD. I'll have to check and double check, but I think it is quite expensive. I leave it, there's enough gig in there to put something over emulation. There's only one speaker, sadly, on this phone, which is a bit crap, but we'll have to deal with it. Yeah, but I like the look of it, guys. It's nice. It's big. It's really big. And, yeah, I don't know if you can see, but it goes right to the edge, the screen, which is really, really nice. But the actual side bezels have got a little bit of a lip, so you're not actually holding the screen. You're actually holding these silver plates on the side, which is really nice. Tell you what, guys, it feels really premium. So what we're doing here? Let's go English, English. Yeah, so not bad. Absolutely not bad whatsoever. United Kingdom. Next. Right with the powers of YouTube. Uh, first impressions, actually. Yeah, I like it. I think it's really nice. It feels premium. It looks premium. It's a solid build. I really love the screen. AMOLED display, beautiful, sexy, all screen, bar that little punch hole, but all screen looks really, really nice. Screen right up to the edge. Looking forward to see what this can do. Okay, before we quickly use the powers of YouTube, I did get this Huawei like case. I think it's the Huawei P40 Pro PU case. Don't know if it's any good. We'll find out. I'll hook it up to it. We get the usual leaflets that you'll never read. It comes with your bog standard charging cable. It is US Type C, which is fantastic. You get some really cheap. Uh, I don't know. That's what they look all right, uh, but we'll see. We'll test them out. I'll use my um, Beats anyway, or my iPod. Uh, iPod thing whatever it is comes with a super fast 40 watt charger as well guys so incredibly fast charge okay i will see you in a moment hi guys and i'm back so first off i just want to say that i've had a plenty of opportunity now to add a couple of things that i really wanted to add i added google play store added some emulators downloaded some games i'm going to kick things off with a android game and Quite a popular one. Don't know how popular now, but it's still a great game to play, nonetheless. I just will say, guys, that this is one of the most beautiful screens that I've ever seen in a phone. It's absolutely gorgeous. 4K, absolute goodness. Bezelless, really smooth, absolutely amazing. As you can see, it's the HD. So. It's top specs. Really, really nice. So it's running the Kirin 990, which is the flagship chip set for Huawei. So let's go into a game, shall we? Just to show you how smooth and everything is running. But I've been so impressed with this phone, guys. I know it's a bit pricey as it's the uh, flagship, but yeah. As you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it's virtually bezel-less, bar the punch out, the whole punch, but yeah, oh, it's so absolutely gorgeous and so crisp, but as I say, it is incredibly smooth, it is silky, silky smooth.
which is really nice. It's been an absolute joy so far. Hopefully it's going to come across just how nice it is with the screen. I know what the uh, recording the video is like with screens. Sometimes it has loads of banding on it and you can't really tell. I turn the brightness down enough so it doesn't oversaturate colours and blare out or wash out should I say but yeah this is one powerful little phone I will swap between handheld and also using a pad to showcase the games, guys. Let's all follow and let's jump out of this bad boy. Let's go. See where I am. Everything looks really nice, plays really smooth. Let's see if we can get into a little bit of a fight. There we go, looks like we're going to be hitting up a few people in a minute. I'll shoot them with my pea shooter because I've only got a hang on. Come on! Looks like this little town over here would have been looted already, judging by one of my colleagues that are over there. Oh, there's someone there. Let's go. Stop running. Nice little loot. Let's go. In fact, do I want my...
I always shit myself up when I hit the gun by mistake. So it looks like we're gonna have to go over the bridge. Ooh, 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 ooh. I see you. Nice little headshot. I'm gonna shoot him up his ass. As you can see guys, it's running flawlessly. It looks beautiful. I'll try and get as close as I can. The detail is, yeah, it looks really nice. And we've run out of bullets, good stuff. Yeah, it looks really nice, very well detailed guys. You'll have no problems with any Android game. Okay, so let's jump into some emulation. As I say, the actual screen, guys, is just absolutely stunning. Bezelless looks nice. Plays incredible. So let's jump into some Orange Eraser. As you know, it's one of my favourite games. Yes, I did include the FPS in the top right, because I know you guys kick my ass. Let's go. Now, I don't normally play very well in handheld mode, guys, so I apologize in advance. But yeah, it is so crisp.
Yep, so you're not going to have any problems with Ridge Racer. Let's try God of War. Suffering for years. <laughs> You can actually set it with one times frame skip or auto frame skip just to keep it at a steady 30 frames per second. This will jump from anywhere between 30 to 60. But yeah, works fine guys, not a problem. So PSP running sweet. Let's move on to some Yabba Dabba Shero. And let's do some Sega Rally Championship. But yeah, you're not going to have any problems with Sega Saturn games, guys. It runs amazingly well. Daytona. Sega Rally Championship. Easy 
Yeah, no problem with Sega Saturn whatsoever. Looks amazing, plays amazing. <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny! Don't put me down! Hey, what's uh -huh. so funny? The joy of adverts with free Yabashiro. I absolutely shit myself then. Okay, so let's check out some... Let's go with some GameCube. Let's test out some Let's go with some Resident Evil Resident Evil Let's just go over this for it Let's try this again, shall we? Hey! So as you can see, it is buttery smooth. Like super, super smooth. It's on 1080p. Looks really sharp. Looks really nice. But just playing it like this is crap. Hence why you do need a pad. Cats wailing in the background. Lovely, great timing. Uh, excuse me, sir.
Let's go set the dog free. Could have got a ruby there from the hawks, but all the crows. So hey ho. There you go, little buddy. Yeah, but as you can see, guys, it plays really, really, really well. It's all going tits up. How about that shoot you in the face? God, I hate on screen controls. But still, still playable. Okay guys, you get the gist, it actually plays really, really nice. It's definitely playable. I would advise using a pad and just like propping it up on a stand like this. Let me zoom back out. It's on a nice little stand. And then get your control pad out, take the overlay off, and then you're good to go. But yeah, you're not going to have any problem at all running this, guys. It really is nice. Not all games run, as you can imagine. Let's go with some Mario Sunshine. Notoriously difficult one to run. Now, now, boys, don't touch that stuff. Don't 
don't touch that stuff. Yeah, same again, 1080p. Looks incredibly sharp, very detailed. I am most concerned with the well-being of the princess in this dreadful heat. Master Mario, if you would, cross over to that shore and find some assistance. <laughs> Science Incorporated, preparing to register customer information, scanning and classifying subject data. Subject identified as Mario Resident. Yeah, but you're not going to have any problems with Mario Sunshine, guys. It runs really, really well. So let's jump into one more, and then we'll move on to some Wii games. And then we'll call it a day just for this video. If there is anything else you wish to see running, guys, different games, different emulators, then let me know in the comments and I will do my very best. As you can see guys, it is buttery smooth, plays really nice, it is a joy.
Again, best to be played with the pads, guys. But it's really nice. Okay, let's move on quickly to some Wii games. I don't know if you can see from the side, but you can well tell, but it looks like it actually folds down into the actual glass. I don't know if you can see that. It's so cool. Right, what will we play in? Let's go with one of my favourites. Now it should have built up a little bit of cash because I have been playing this quite a bit.
as you can see guys it's playing really 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 well fantastic game okay let's jump into one more let's go with some xenoblade chronicles absolutely fantastic game I say 1080p guys looks sharp as hell looks really nice really excited to see what phones are like this year in 2021 because obviously they're going to outperform what the 2020 previous phones were so It'd be really exciting to see what chipsets are in them and just how much more performance we can push Long out ago, of these. You know? The world Amazing. was nothing more than an endless sea, cloaked in a boundless sky, reaching as far as could possibly be imagined. Then two great titans came into existence. The Bionis and the Mechonis. The Bionis and the Mechonis. were locked in a timeless battle. Until at last, only their lifeless corpses remained. Eons have passed. Now, our world, this vast land stretching across the remains of the Bionics, is under attack from a relentless force known as the Mechon. Time spent hanging around here, and we're done for. Count me in. We've got to get out of here. Or we can stay and fight. What? Ah! We may die if we take a stand here, but staying gives us the chance to change our destinies. We have the Monado. With this, the future is ours for the taking. Stupid beast. Your body can't take any more of the Monado. I can tell by just looking at you. Getting short-sighted in your old age, Dixon. I'm fine. Don't worry, I'm still in control. Hmm. I should have known I couldn't talk sense into a beast. Let's do this. I'm going with you. You'll need someone to drag your corpse off. As long as you think you've still got the strength in you, old man. Oi, you two! We've been ordered to pull back! I'm leaving! Well, I say you're coming with us. 
What would we do without those? <sighs> the enemy's second wave is approaching! It's now or never, Dunban. Let's show them what we got. We'll give them a warm Homs welcome. Acknowledged. Yeah. Ha. What are they trying to prove? I'm not throwing my life away. No point dying in some godforsaken field. Nothing for it. I'll have to use Dunban as a decoy. Yeah, that should give me time to escape. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm going to leave it there for now. If there's anything else you wish to see running on it, let me know in the comments. If you want me to see some 16-bit or Dreamcast or anything like that running on it, let me know in the comments. But overall guys, my thoughts and opinion of this phone are, I think for the price, the screen, the picture quality, with it being 4K, uh, AMOLED display, Kirin 990 chip, it is an absolute beast an absolute beast everything i've chucked on it so far has just handled it really 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 well very impressive phone sturdy well made well built camera is absolutely fantastic yeah very very impressive one of the best phones that i've reviewed on the channel and for emulation as well absolute powerhouse thanks for watching guys as i say Please make sure if you want anything else to see, well, if you want to see anything else running on this, let me know in the comments. And as always, guys, take care.